what's going on everyone it's b aver here again for another episode of just my opinion and uh thanks for tuning in i really do appreciate it this one right here oh my goodness gracious uh we've got a lot of fans out there that are upset that are whining that are crying in my opinion that are just really butthurt about this new captain marvel movie with starring brie larson and some of her comments as of late now of course, um, Captain Marvel, one of my most anticipated films of 2019, is coming out March 8th. I already got my tickets for the Thursday. You know, I'm going to that IMAX screen and I cannot wait. Trailers for this film have looked pretty decent so far. I'm excited about the film. I can't wait for her to tear it up, you know, uh, you know, in the coming weeks. Brie Larson is a great actress. Um, you know, we all know that, but, you know, she was recently on, um, you know, just talk, I don't want to say a press tour, but she was just recently talking to somebody uh, just about her experience, you know, as, as being a superhero and just like who she wants to see the film. And she wants this film to be empowering for all women around the world, kind of like, you know, Wonder Woman was, you know, what DC did. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that, but she wants, you know, she's not saying like she's she's not saying that 40 year old white man can't see the film, can't review the film. She just wants, uh, you know, more diverse group, you know, more inclusive group of all different backgrounds, ages, sexes, genders and all that to cover her material. And I agree 100 percent. And just people are upset about that. What exactly are they said about? She said about a year ago, I started paying attention to what my press days look like and the critics review on movies. I noticed it appeared to be overwhelmingly white male. So I spoke to Dr. Stacy Smith at USC Annenberg Inclusion Initiative, who put together a study to confirm that. Moving forward, I decided to make sure my press days were more inclusive. After speaking with you, the film critic Valerie Complex, and a few other women of color, it sounded like across the board they weren't getting the same opportunities as others. When I talked to their facilities, they weren't providing it. They were all giving different excuses. So... Because, and, and all white people aren't getting upset about this, but I'm, I'm just speaking to the, the few butt hurt, butt hurt that are, you know, some of these YouTubers and things like that. I'm just like so surprised they're calling her racist and sexist for this. This is ridiculous. First of all, you already have everything. You already have white privilege and stuff. And for you to feel this way, for you just to not feel that you are at the top, at the front of the line, and every area in human activity, you're just going to lose it. And it's just, I, I find it hilarious. I find it pathetic. And, it, you know, I would say that I shouldn't be surprised by this, but I'm surprised. I mean, damn, like, what are you mad at? I mean, like, what is wrong with her just saying, hey, I want different groups of people to experience this female empowering movie because I, I, if, if you are a male, if you are a white male, you may know a lot, but you are not going to understand everything as much as a black male or a black woman or a white woman or a brown woman, or brown man, or whatever. It just don't work that way. You can probably understand the culture of a white male more than anybody else because you're a white male. And a white woman, a white woman, and you get my point. Is that This is just ridiculous. I mean, there are people, like, really, really upset about this. And, I mean, it's funny, It's funny, but it's just crazy. It's, it's just crazy at the same time. Uh, I mean, I don't understand. You know, people are actually calling her race. I mean, like, for, let me give you an example. It wasn't a good film, but Ava DuVernay directed the film A Wrinkle in Time uh, last year. came out in March, and I forgot the young actor's name. Was it Storm Reed? A Wrinkle in Time. Now, I believe Storm Reed is biracial, uh, and, you know, she has curly, kinky hair, which I find is absolutely beautiful. If she's uh, all black, excuse me, but I think she's biracial. There was a point in the movie to where she had dressed her hair. And she was uncomfortable about it because it was not straight. Majority of white people are not going to pick that up. Ava DuVernay, who was black, said herself in like one of the press junkets, like it was a, a, a white press, uh, a, a, a somebody in the press that was white, a journalist, whatever, a reviewer, critic, whatever. And just like, hey, I noticed that one little line in the movie where, you know, Storm Reid, you know, uh, talked about the insecurity of her. And Ava was like, oh, I'm surprised you even noticed that. Most white people don't notice that that's something that black women have to go through in this country. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're, well, I'm, I can't pretend like I know how life is in the over in the continent of Africa. 
I've never been, but you know, to my understanding, uh, they over there, the majority, they can just be black, 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 blackity black. Ain't nothing wrong. They're not gonna be demonized for it. But over here, black women could not get jobs if they wore wanted to wear their whole fraud out or some type of dress or, or whatever braids. You can't do that. You gotta have it. You know, you gotta put all these chemicals in your hair, and that fucks with the black woman's psyche and just the black psyche as a whole. Like my natural hair is not good enough. That is something that black women go through. That is something that white people are just not going to pick up on. So, you know, uh, don't crap on Brie Larson because she possibly realizes this and wants to give other people an opportunity to cover a different type of movie that a white male perhaps wouldn't grasp as well as anybody else. But y'all just, oh, God, it's sexist, it's racist. I'm not first anymore. I've been first for 400 years, but now I'm second. Come on, man. Get over yourself. Y'all are, are sad. Y'all need to get over yourself. Uh, I just think this is ridiculous. Uh, Brie Larson, I'm on your side with this. If you want to know the whole interview, I'm not going to read it as long, but you can go, you know, find uh, Marie Claire. Uh, she had a nice little sit down talk with Brie Larson about all of this. And uh, y'all need to, the, the cry babies that are screaming that this is sexist and racism, go kick rocks. Y'all are ridiculous. Guys, that is just my opinion. What did you think about all this? You know, do you agree with Bree or are you with the crybabies over here on the other side? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel and also look me up on social media. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. Made it very easy for you. But guys, I just want to thank you very much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.